<clears throat> okay, so we're just getting settled in. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Taking a few deep breath cycles. Maybe you sigh out. Maybe you feel your chest expand and um, that settling, releasing. And scan through your body, maybe move around a little bit, adjusting into place. Check in with the position of your hands, holding a mindful posture there, and being gentle and comfortable. And with the position of your spine, are you leaning forward or back in your pelvis? Swelling upwards through the spine, through the back of the head. Relax down through your shoulders. Bringing our breath and awareness into the soles of the feet. Through the legs. Through the sits bones and pelvic floor. Awareness and breath into pelvis. The lower tailbone and the sacrum. The low, low belly. And if your body is inclined to move a little bit in these areas, I'm taking the very smallest cat cow by just engaging my front hip points and letting it be like just this tiny wave in my pelvis. Breathing. Bringing that mindful energy up into the abdomen. Through the back body.
in this big energy space, lots of warmth, metabolism, digestion, lots going on. We're breathing into the back body here, feeling into the lower ribs, the middle back. Bringing your awareness and energy up into the chest, through the rib cage in all directions. Some big breath cycles, filling the lungs, feeling your softness as you exhale. The same space, there's the shoulder blades, the armpit area, the inner shoulders, and down the soft inner part of the arms to the wrists, through the palms. like reaching forward to give a hug. All of that that extends out and draws in. Bringing that energy and awareness up through the neck, throat, tops of the shoulders. I'd say this energy could be more like top of the arm, top of the hand. The jaw.
in your third eye area, the temples, forehead, the eyes, behind the eyes, in the back of the head. In the back of the head where it meets to the neck, that area that can be tight and headachey sometimes. The ears. To the top of the head, drawing your energy up. Re engage, lifting through the spine. Imagining space above your head as a continuation of yourself. You might think of like a unicorn or something like that. And we'll take it back down, breathing back through the neck and the shoulders. If it feels good to move a little bit. Down through the upper back, through the ribs, through the middle back. And the lower back. through the sacrum, the pelvis, down through the legs and the feet. As we guide our hands to the heart, taking a moment, set your intention. And easy, let that go. Good, let's take the hands. We'll just do a little bit of rubbing the hands. And if you have your eyes closed still, or they're very gentle, Cup your palms over your eyes and blink into that. Do that again. Go ahead and rub your hands together. This time we'll take it over the whole face. Like washing your face. Good. All right. Thank you. Roll the shoulders. Oh, roll through some cat cow. Yeah, take some circles. <clears throat> Change direction. And come back to center. Roll your shoulders down. Stretch your arms out and up, gather it up. Down to the heart, back up. 
out and down. A couple more times through that pattern, stretching up. We're getting into the sides, feeling into the sides of the shoulder blades, into the armpit area, through the arms, spreading out the fingers, big stretch up, down, press the palms together, warming up the wrists, bringing that energy in, and we exchange back up. Out and ground it down, fingertips down. Inhale up to the heart. Inhale up. Lots of engagement through the outer shoulder blades as you push out and down, all the way down. Walk your hands forward. <coughs> Good. Take the hands behind you, gentle pressure down into the fingers, very light. Lift up through the heart, shoulders back, and let it go. Good. Change your leg position if you like to. We've been like this for a while here on this side. Cat cow. Come up and roll the shoulders down. Anchor your fingers to the sides. Spreading out the fingers, draw the shoulders back. As long as it's okay with your neck, don't pull on your neck. Just let it be easy. Ribs in, spine up, chin in, forehead down. Breathe through the back of the neck. Maybe you move your head a little bit side to side. So you can find sensation and then if you're kind of finding it and then pulling a little bit, you might go a little too far. Just get to sensation as it is. I find it hard not to. It's kind of a practice of being present with the sensation in the shallow end. Slide the head back up to neutral. Let's take the right hand to the left side of the chest. We did this last time, knocking, maybe fingers together, whatever feels good for you. I'm just letting my other hand stay at the side. I'm at the front of the chest, underneath the collarbone, out towards the outside of the chest of the pecs. Kind of bring your hand to your leg. You can feel difference, like if your arms spread out to the side versus in, you might find just different sensation. As you get closer towards the sternum at midline, it's more ribby, less muscle to work with. So you might want to be a little more gentle. Knock, knock. Change sides. Okay, let that go, good. Stretch your arms out and up, interlace the fingers to press up. 
Uh, draw your hands forward, round your back. Inhale back up, release forward fold. And walk the hands behind you. And let it go. Good. Let's roll into a table, move through some cat cow. Take the hands forward, reach your hips up, the down dog. Draw your shoulders um, in, like you're anchoring your shoulders. Find strength there and bring your knees down. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders for more cat cows. Come back up to down dog. Stretch it out. One more time, coming down to table. Pack how? And back up to down dog. Okay, take your time stepping forward. Half lift into your forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. Rise up, reach up, and bring your arms to your mountain pose. A moment rolling your wrists. Whew. Roll your feet inside and out. Roll forward and back on your feet.
We're going to take a few rounds of those big swooping arms uh, before we come into a forward fold. So take your arms, cross your forearms, bend into the knees. Low belly is in along the way. Stretch up and bring it into the heart. Do it again. Big breath. Breathing it down to the heart again. Two more times. Huge breath down to the heart. One more time. As you come through the heart, forward fold. Good. Halfway lift into your plank pose. Hold your plank, knees up or down, keep breathing. Exhale, bring the knees down, lower down. Cobra, push back to down dog. Step forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Rise up. Reach up, arms to the sides. Inhale, stretch up, forward fold. You can continue with that sort of motion if you like, or you can come through your reaching and your forward fold as you like. Halfway lift, forward fold. Your yoga is your expression. But what did I say? Plank pose. Come back to plank pose. I'm not sure what I said. <laughs> Come all the way down. Cobra. Come back to down dog. <laughs> I think I said something else. It's okay. Good. From down dog, three leg dog, take your left leg back. And bring your foot forward. Come up through your crescent lunge. Step your back foot forward. Stretch up, forward fold. Halfway lift, step back to plank pose. Lower through your chaturanga. Up dog warrior cobra, exhale back to down dog. Great, take your other leg up, right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Rise up. And step forward. Good, mountain. Take your hands to your hips. So I have my, to be very technical about it, I'm kind of resting my um, fingers at the top of the, the pelvic crest here. So it's kind of like at the waist and over the um, outer hips. Take your right knee, bend the knee, and then take your leg back, coming into any level of a warrior three with the hands holding here. Keep that leg straight back wherever your T shape is. Bring your foot down, change legs. 
So I bend my knee up a little bit and then kick my heel back. Bring it down, other side, right leg back again. Yours could have the toes on the ground. Your leg could be lifted a little bit, could be a full T. Anywhere along the way. Bring your foot down, change side. <clears throat> Keep your elbows lifting away as you're here so your chest is expanding side to side. And bring your foot down. Good. Let go of the wrists, let go of the hands. Stretch up. Exhale. Forward fold. Our half lift. Create space. Step back into your plank pose. Come through your chaturanga. Exhale back to your down dog. Stretch your left leg back. Hold it. Breathe. Exhale your foot forward. Back foot changes warrior one. The heel goes where the toes were. Rise up. So we're going to practice flying again on this side here. You might keep your arms as they are, reaching forward. You might bring them to the side, or you might like having them here stabilizing at the, the uh, waist and hips. Lift your back leg, bring it back to warrior. Toes, heel, arms up. Again, fly. Exhale, land, gentle. Arms up. One more time. Doing teeter totters today. And bring it down. Breathe. Give legs to that front leg. Pyramid, leveling out your hips. You can have a little micro bend in the knees, engage your quads. I really like using blocks in my practice these days. Bringing the ground up to my hands. Relax over your leg. Relax the back of your neck. Bend into that knee, core lifts you up. Step forward, arms to the sides. Stretch up. Exhale to your forward fold. Good, we're just gonna half lift and take the left foot all the way back. All the way back. You might like a pillow for the knee. We're gonna bring the knee down. But first, just give some length and ease your back knee down. My right knee is my front knee over the heel. Engage your arms up. Lift, lift, lift through the energy of that back leg. Lifting through the low belly. My um, tailbone is kind of uh, hugging underneath me, so I'm directing it with the same angle of my back knee. If I'm pressing my tailbone back, I want to engage it under just a little. Exhale, bring your hands down. Give some length to your front leg here. Draw your hips back. Maybe you pulse a little bit if that feels good. Not pull 
pull, pull. It's like rocking a baby. Good. Bend back into your front knee, setting up your twist, back knee up or down. Right hand is up. Exhale, lower your hand, step back through your plank, however you get there. Coming through your chaturanga. Into your up, uh, into your um, down dog. When you lower your plank, make sure your head stays stable. So your neck doesn't drop down. And stretch your right leg up, three leg down. Exhale, step it forward. Back foot, warrior. Warrior one, rise up. So the foot's angled out at about 45 degrees. Here we are. So we'll practice flying your arm choice. Lift your back leg. Toes down, heel down, careful. There you go. Again, so we're from standing, I brought my knee up here. I'm just taking my leg straight back. Land. And again. Lots of core work brings your foot down. So you have to like really stabilize toe and heel. Lengthen out your leg, pyramid. Bend that knee, come up. Step forward. Stretch up. One more time, forward fold. Our half lift and the right leg is leading back, all the way back. Give some good space here, drawing space from that back hip, the heel pressing back, the heart drawing forward. And when you're ready, draw the back knee down. Engagement up. So the more I create space upwards through my back quad, the more I find a stretch through the quads, the more I drop forward, the more I'm stretching and finding maybe sensation in the hip. And um, I am avoiding the hip sensation, lifting upwards more. We like to stretch through muscle belly, big strong quads, maintaining integrity of our tendons. So 
Lengthen or draw the hands down, lengthen out your leg, point the toes up. So when we, in a stretch, when we find stronger sensation in uh, near joint spaces, we want to try to modify that, see what we can do. Usually that means lessening the amount that we're of effort and try drawing back in a different way. So if I was feeling this all at my uh, back of my knee, I would bend a little in my knee and draw my um, sits bones back more. Bend your front knee, set up your twist. Exhale, your hand down. One more time, coming through your chaturanga as you like. Always an option just to come to your down dog. And come all the way forward. Here we are. Rise up. Step out onto your mat. Just do a little bit of wide forward fold. Relax in your wide forward fold. Bend into your knees, take time rising up. Open out the left leg, setting into your warrior two. Wanna sink in. Come to your side angle. Keep your breath smooth, reverse your warrior. Side angle. Still breathing, reverse warrior. Come up to triangle. Bend the knee, come out, rotate into your wide forward fold. Stretch out side to side. Bend the knees and come back up through center. Open out to the right. I'm having um, that burn vertigo is trying to creep in a little bit. So I'm just, I might just continue um, talking through it. We'll see. Side angle on the right side, open up. Reverse your warrior, keep breathing. 
side angle. Open the side. Give that space, that expansion. Other side, reverse warrior. Deep breathing. Come up to your triangle. And let it go. Bend that knee. Pull tight back. Wide forward fold. Setting up your twist. Half lift and take the right arm up or to the sacrum and low back. That upper shoulder, shoulder blade towards the spine. Keep breathing. Exhale out, center, lengthen, and twist. And breathe, come out. Good, bend the knees, rise up. Heel to the feet, bring it back in. We did this last time, we talked about it after, and um, we can do it again, kind of play with it again. So to standing, take the right leg in front across the um, left. Uh, there was a question that came up about like the positioning of the feet. And I'll say it's, you know, dependent on your hips, dependent on uh, many, many things here. I have probably about, the um, distance of my fist or so uh, between my feet. My left foot is angled forward. My right foot is angled like a roof of a house, like a little kid drawing of a house, <laughs> which is my drawing. <laughs> my left. I have the artistic talent of a three-year-old. From here, I'm gonna take my hips over to the left, lifting the arms up, and taking the hands over to the right. Now the back heel, it might lift up. You might kind of play with that. We were talking about the angle of the front hip point, the left hip point here. So you might play with the angle there, turning it to the side more, or turning it forward more. That does change your knee and your heel. And we want to be mindful of moving within a stretch. I don't really like moving within stretches like that because we're thinking about what's happening with the back muscles, with the discs and the vertebrae. So hold lots of awareness. Keep your breath. Let me come out. It's not a huge side stretch, so I'm not as concerned about the, the discs and the uh, vertebrae, but I would be concerned with the um, big back muscles that they could like create a little spasm or something. No thanks. So other side, left foot across, lift up, draw the hips over to the right. We're stretching away from the back foot. Breathe. Imagine you'll find more sensation having the back heel anchored down, but it might take a little bit of movement to get there. Come out. And let's go ahead and come to the front. And come down. Come into your forward fold at the front of your mat. If it feels good to sway, maybe having the feet a little wider in your forward fold, swaying side to side. Maybe your hands come inter um, interlaced to the opposite elbow.
Good. Bring the hands down, knees down. Tabletop. And we'll just easy rock the hips side to side. Moment in the cat cow. Stretch the hips back into your child's pose. Make your way to your seat. We can join together in time in our butterfly. Holding in our butterfly. Up. Take the left leg forward, right foot close in like a tree pose. Make sure your pelvis is upright and come forward so your pelvis to fold, stretch up and over. Watch your hands up. We'll come to our nice twist here, taking the knee over. Setting up your twist, lengthen the spine, lengthening through the back of the neck and the back of the head so the chin stays down a little bit. Okay, I'll take a moment in your easy breezy figure four seat. I draw the, the um, wrists or the ankle space <laughs> above the knee. Sitting back into the hands. Avoiding a lot of weight in the shoulder. I like rocking this one. And we'll let that go. And change sides. So my right leg is forward, left foot close. Tilt the pelvis up and forward. the 
hands back up. We'll set up our twist, left foot over. Rotate out, set up for uh, your seated figure four. Depending on the amount of um, <clears throat> sensation in the hip, you could press your hands and lift your heart forward more, or you might, might even like walk your hands closer if you wanted to have a big sensation. I kind of like the softness here. And we'll slide it out. So both legs forward, big forward fold one more time. Okay. And walk your hands back. We'll come to our backs to finish up. Massage your back. We'll take a moment coming to our happy baby. Let things settle down, settle in. Bring the feet down, rock your knees out side to side. Anchor your feet, draw your knees forward, lift up your hips into your bridge pose. Lift up your heels and roll down. Do it again. It's kind of the opposite in the hip flexors of our forward fold. It's giving space for the hip flexors. And lower down. We lift up the heels and roll, like we're ironing the spine out a little bit. And one more time. If you like wheel pose, if that is in your practice, bringing the hands to frame the, the head. And ease out. Good. Coming into a, a bigger figure four, lift up your left leg, cross it over for your figure four. Reverse out, change side. <clears throat>
and you reverse out. Bring your arms and legs up for your bear pose. Move your right ankles and your wrists. Maybe you like to take a big stretch otherwise. And we're gonna set up to twist. So I'm gonna give everything a moment here. When you're ready to come to your twist, take the position that is most restful, most supportive for you. Come out to change sides. And come out. We'll take a moment to finish up any last poses for yourself. Any stretches, movements. Ready for your restful Shavasana, find your position. Connect to your breath. Notice as your thoughts arise and mindfully let them pass. <laughs> 